located just 12 kilometers from the sea, is the town of Tilkov. Originally founded as a fishing town around 1813, it became the site of Newfoundland's first mine in 1864 and produced copper until 1920 when the mine closed. It reopened for a brief period in 1957 and closed again 10 years later in 1967. Today, remnants of the mining infrastructure are still plainly visible. The cemetery is the site of a memorial monument to the victims of a tragic sailing disaster. In December of 1867, the freight passenger sailing ship Queen of Swansea ran aground on Gull Island just a few miles off Tilkov. All 11 crew members and passengers perished. In the early 1900s, Tilkov reached its peak population of about 1,500. Today, it is the smallest town in Canada with a population of just four people all of whom are members of the town council. The abandoned town of Round Harbor it was once a thriving fishing community with a peak population of 114 in 1951. In the 1960s, however, Round Harbor's isolation led many people to relocate to such larger centers as Bayvert and Lassie. The decline in population made a local school impractical and difficulties providing bus service in the winter months was an inducement for young families to leave. And by 1991, the winter population of Round Harbor was less than 20. Today, no one lives in the community. However, some former residents do maintain properties there as cottages for summertime use. Currently, the gravel road leading to the community is poorly maintained, but it is passable with care. For anyone who would like an example of what old Newfoundland was like, this is a must-see. And as a caution, extreme care is required when walking around here as much of the walkways are in disrepair. 